Hi everybody, this is Lena here and it is mid-January, Friday night, pretty late at night. I think it's something like 10, 10.30, 11 o'clock at night. Uh, and I'm here to present you with an update on Workbotic and beyond. Uh, the biggest thing that I've been working on right now is mainly been composing my support team and just, you know, tightening up all of the loose ends as it comes to support. And that has been probably the biggest challenge, mainly because it's not only putting support together and figuring out a process for support, but it's also building an infrastructure. We have thousands and thousands of users uh, sending in questions with a variety of different needs, and we have a variety of different services that we offer with Wordbotic. It becomes very challenging finding not only the right people, but also building the system that is all custom built. I custom built my entire backend system. So anytime anybody sends us an email, the information that my support team sees is completely customized by me. And that's probably what I was working on for a bulk of last year to build this system that would allow people to serve customers uh, in a practical and uh, useful way. And it was just probably, um, you know, probably late fall, up until late fall, it was pretty much just me, Erin, many of you have interacted with Erin, uh, who is my bestie and also just kind of jumps in and helps with whatever I need, uh, whether it's answering support tickets and providing access to uh, those of you that have different challenges with accessing programs or keys, to just helping me watch Nikita when I need a little bit more of extra time to work or picking her up from school or, you know, um, whatever it is that's needed. And then I also have one of my uh, coding assistants that doesn't handle anything that has to do with support but helps me more on the coding end. Uh, so prior to that, prior to probably September-ish, it was the three of us and then I had one other person that was also kind of chipping in with different types of tickets and then I was kind of trying to juggle the rest of them. Uh, now there's probably over a dozen people that works out of this very office that I'm sitting in right now. Um, in and out of here, different aspects of the, um, of the support that's needed and I'm continually adding and expanding on the types of services that we are offering to our customers in order to uh, just provide people with uh, the support that they would need in order to get, in order to use the software to its fullest potential and be able to make the use, make the best use of this beta period. Um, while the software is in beta, it's sort of the opportune time to talk about different options and features and improvements that we need to make. And we're still trying to build a system and a process where we can get better feedback from people so that we can build Wordbotic to be better and useful and match what people want to do with it. Um, a lot of the improvements I think I already know of what needs to be done and it's a ton of hours that need to go into development and juggling the development of the software as well as the development of the backend system to support the people that are using the software. In other words, you know, when people have questions about how to use the workbooks or people have questions about, you know, the, the done for you service. Uh, there's so many different types of questions that come in and being able to just figure out how we can support what? Oh great! See and that's sort of a part of our uh, oh that's wonderful that's my daughter there in the background um, she's constantly with me and uh, you know probably that's very uh, typical to how I work, you know, I'll uh, have a window of time that I could work and then, you know, there's, um, you know, play time or homework time and I think, you know, that's probably another layer of challenges that I have in building my business. Uh, it's not only the growth of Workbotic and the growth of the software, but and, and the development needs of the software, but it's also the juggling my responsibilities as a mother, 
of a single parent. And then there's another layer on top of that. Uh, my daughter has a disability and there's constant medical uh, challenges that we have to juggle. Like for example, right now we have a dentist that we're working with that's in Texas because my daughter has this very rare syndrome and you know her condition has this very unique dental situation that um, not very many dentists in the United States are familiar with. So there's, you know, we may, we may have to go down to Texas possibly to go see this dentist to get an opinion that we can bring back to the dental team here that's caring for her. Um, on top of that, she has probably 14 doctors and she is out of school a lot because we have a lot of appointments that we go to and just juggling that to make sure that she is staying on top of what she needs to in school and juggling everything else. I mean, it's a constant juggle and um, a lot of times I'm very tired and I just do my best to keep moving forward and I make a very genuine effort to try to build things as quickly and as efficiently as I can so that I can just keep up with everything. And it's hard. It's definitely hard. You know that we're recording, right? Uh, maybe just a couple more minutes. Do you want to come stay? Oh, okay. I'll be there. Well, wait. Wait until I'm done recording. <laughs> so, uh, it, as I was saying, the juggle is real. <laughs> It's, uh, it's very challenging, and, and just the business on its own, it's very difficult. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. <laughs> I just want to hang out with my mama a little bit. I'll yeah. be quiet. Okay. You can be quiet. I'm going to be here for the rest. Okay. Um, well, that was pretty much it. I think the next thing that people will see is a lot of improvements with our support. Uh, have some great people and you know one of the things I also wanted to share is not just identifying great people to work on the support team but it's also um, getting people who are going to be willing to stay for the long haul. Uh, as many of you know Wordbotic has a bit of a learning curve and I don't just have Wordbotic on the plate now there's Outline Master, Mind Map Master, Choice Master, now there's going to be a memoirs master, and then I have a ton of ebooks and other software and resources. I, I have like over 40 products. And, um, you know, find the, the training and the learning curve on it is often months, uh, definitely months. I know Erin still, uh, she's been with me for over a year now, and she's still, there's a lot of things that she's not familiar with in terms of, you know, the products that I've had in the past. and you know, uh, what the different product, the older products are. Uh, so there's a learning curve and, you know, hiring somebody that, you know, might only last two or three months is uh, problematic. So there is turnover as with anything else and I have to just kind of factor that in to my time frames and, you know, I'm fortunate in the sense that I have a lot of people great people on my team that are in it for the long haul and are doing great, doing exactly what I need them to be doing. Uh, but there's always that hole that needs to be filled, almost like when you're on a ship and, you know, just trying to plug all the holes so you can stay afloat and that's kind of a lot of times what I feel like. Uh, but what people can see next with Wordbotic is, um, you know, stronger support. And from a development side, I really am trying to find a pocket of time, a big pocket of time that I could focus on the quality of the output. It's something that I've been working on for, um, well, prior to the infrastructure and the support challenges that I had in 2015, I was primarily working on that. And tightening that up is really key for us to get out of beta and have Wordbotic be a full-fledged product that everybody can kind of um, utilize in a better manner. Um, even though the product is very usable right now, uh, it can be much better, and that's what I want to spend my time on, making the, uh, the content quality better. Um, and then there's features too. I think I probably will add some different features into the interface 
before I tackle the content updates. Um, probably by the time I do my next video update, I'll have a little bit of a tighter, um, you know, a tighter uh, outlook on what's coming on that front. Uh, because as of right now, I have my hands pretty full with support. So if you're seeing this video and you have not received your workbook or your book, uh, the book that I wrote, it took me three hours to write this great book about how to use Wordbotic effectively, and I used Wordbotic to write the book, and I'm sending everybody a copy of it. Um, these shipments are going out pretty swiftly now, but there's thousands and thousands and thousands of these shipments that are being processed. So if you are seeing this and you are waiting for your shipment and you want it quick, then send our support team a message so that we can <clears throat> prioritize your shipment and get it out to you. Uh, we have a process now for doing that for people who just ask, I want my workbooks. Uh, so that your request gets pushed up a little bit and uh, you'll likely see it probably within a week or so. Uh, so definitely do that and uh, we are going to close this video so that I can get this little one to bed. Um, and that she could read me. And so I could read to you, yeah. <laughs> uh, thank you very much for all of your patience and support and until the next update, have a great and inspiring week.